How do you design an innovative task chair? We work in a world of abundant choice. There are a lot of very good chairs from some great companies, always looking to innovate with new designs. So how do you create a compelling product that can prosper in a market saturated with great choice? That's a question we always have on the table. At Orangebox, we also need to bring generations of new innovation and new value, not with one chair, but with generations of chairs. And you can achieve this through a number of ways. Typically, a new mechanism is at the centre of a new chair, which is the case with Kern. The second route is material and manufacturing innovation. And again, with Kern, we are creating our first all-mesh chair. The third is what I describe as the architecture and design personality of the chair. And that's where research of nearly a decade ago becomes an intrinsic part of the creative process. To understand the landscape of contemporary task chairs, we produced a research document where we set out what we saw as a living, distinct chair architectures. All task chairs will sit within one of these distinct classifications, existing and new. When we look at someone, we recall their body shape, how they move, and more importantly, their face. The car grill and headlights have defined Auto Brand's DNA for generations. Of the four primary elements of the task chair, the mechanism, seat, base, arms, and back, the arms and back is the primary definer of the chair's personality. So Kiran originates from this. Each task chair we develop has a distinct design personality. And as with the other key assets, the mechanism, the chair's function attributes, the materials of the chair, the performance range, the price point, etc., do our most successful chair to date has a fluid back connection architecture. And our previous chair, Eva, is created within the wishbone architecture. For Kern, we originated our ideas around the connection via RM architecture, which was our starting point for design developments. Working within this narrative is an innovative and helpful way to re-arise originality within a portfolio of task chairs, together with the contributions of each of the other key design assets. At the same time, the innovative mechanism that's central to the design of Kern became a live possibility for development. And so we began the design evolution of Kern. Gareth and Jim will go into the engineering, environmental, ergonomic, and manufacturing smartness that's at the center of Kern. So here I'll illustrate this idea of the architecture and design personality behind Kern. Deciding on the connection via ARM architecture instantly allows for freedom in creating a refreshing relationship between the seat and the back. And because we were also working around the potential of our new mechanism, we evolved the idea that Kern could realize the simplest chair we possibly could. Simplicity in components, simplicity in function, and simplicity in the amount of structure needed to create a robust workhorse which is what a great task chair needs to be. Because of the engineering of this new me mechanism being split, it allows the bulk to be removed from under the seat where it's normally positioned and repositioned into the sides of the seat. And we wanted to express this by changing the look of the seat with a lighter profile. And because Kern is an all mesh chair, its lightness can become much more expressive. The sculpting away of the expected seat bulk, particularly at the back, creates a lighter, more responsive seat and one where we can use less material. We actually wanted to drop the under connection into the gas lift to float the seat, but we compromised to achieve an enhanced seat height range, which as Jim will explain is a big plus within the contemporary workplace. The design of the arm is positioned to suggest dynamic movement and nudge the user, if you will, to adjust the height to fit them with a beautifully simple and intuitive lift and drop motion. The fluid linking of the arm into the back again suggests dynamic movement and sets up an architecture focused on light responsiveness. To achieve a design centered on being light touch, light touch to use, light touch to manufacture, light touch environmentally, and light touch to recycle. And in order to be environmentally smart, you can have Kern in black or white. 
which is why you were describing Kern as green thinking made black and white.